to my YouTube channel. My name is Aida Ziari. I'm an interior designer and engineer, and I run my own design and build company. I was in the middle of renovation of this house in British property and one day I was just standing in the backyard and suddenly the idea of extending this balcony and make it larger popped to my head. Keep in mind at this point I didn't have any allowance for this addition and also I needed to see if my client even liked the idea. Since the main living room and dining room are located upstairs, I thought this balcony could be super functional. I could create a beautiful outdoor space for my client to sit and enjoy the view and mainly even outdoor kitchen. Another advantage was swimming pool being at the bottom floor, this balcony would create a covered area for the outdoor sitting and I could have a pool table or a ping pong table underneath of this covered area and I thought that would be fun. I checked with my client and he loved the idea. However, his budget was very limited. So his idea was if I build this structure and uh, design everything, then the outdoor kitchen and some other things could get added uh, next time or next season. Every time you adding or removing the structure from exterior of the house, you need a building permit. So I quickly draw a plan and submit for a revision. After approval, we started the job. The first thing we did, we prepped the base and pour concrete and added posts and beams. When I was designing this balcony, I knew as much as this balcony is beautiful and functional for both main floor and a basement, but it would have one negative point, and that was it would eliminate the amount of natural light going to the basement bedrooms. To solve this issue, I added custom glass flooring with double glazed frosted tempered glass, and this structure should have been strong enough for people to walk on it, but also it would act as a skylight for the bottom deck and the bedrooms. Waterproof the deck and added gas and water pipe for future outdoor kitchen. Originally, I wanted to integrate the heaters and make them flush with the ceiling, but the budget was very low and the function always comes first. So I had to be very cautious about my finishes and also the cost of labors and I needed to meet the budget. We also redid the backyard to make it look more cohesive and uh, other than landscape in the backyard we added the same flooring throughout the area and I added this huge beautiful uh, fire pit that is a real piece of granite and it's weight about 4,000 pounds that is very heavy and it was very difficult to bring it to the job site uh, it is very beautiful and I love it and it's finished up the space now this project still has the potential for some fine touches such as adding outdoor kitchen or maybe even cool furniture system which could get added at any time but the most important part is the base and the structure is there to support the future addition. Thank you for watching this video. Like and subscribe for a good vibe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.